Today we will review clinical exam for evaluating ankle sprains, specifically looking at special muscle skeletal exam skills for ankle sprains. There is a separate video for auto and ankle and foot rules to review to determine the need for radiographs. To perform the anterior jaw test, use one hand to stabilize the distal tibiofibular joint. Use the other hand to cup the calcaneus. Place the ankle in neutral position. Anterior translate calcaneus to stress the anterior talofibular ligament. Looking for increased anterior translation or pain over the anterior talofibular ligament and compared to the uninjured side. To perform a Taylor tilt test, to assess the calcaneofibular ligament, use one hand to stabilize distal tibia fibula, use the other hand to grip the bottom of the foot, place the ankle in neutral position, and invert the talus to stress the CFL ligament. Then to assess the anterior talofibular ligament, place the ankle joint in slight plantar flexion and invert the talus to stress the ATFL. looking for any abnormal laxity and pain compared to the uninjured ankle. To perform the eversion stress test, patient can be seated or laying down. Use one hand to stabilize distal tibia while using the other hand to grasp the heel and foot. Place the ankle in neutral position. Evert talus to stress deltoid ligament looking for abnormal laxity or pain over the deltoid ligament and comparing to the uninjured ankle. To perform the squeeze test to assess for syndesmotic injuries, have the patient seated, use both hands to compress the tibia and fibula together at the mid calf level, looking for pain in the distal tibial fibular syndesmosis. To perform the external rotation stress test, patient is seated with knee flexed to about 90 degrees, stabilize the distal tibia, use the other hand to hold the foot in neutral to slight dorsiflexion, and externally rotate the foot relative to the leg. A positive test is indicated by pain over the syndesmosis or deltoid ligament compared to the uninjured ankle. Observe patient walking in clinic, looking for slower, shorter steps or compensating gait mechanics. 